Hi boys and girls. We are going to keep learning about space this week. Um, we, I know that you've liked learning about space and I think I told you in one of my previous videos that every time I study space or learn about space with my students, I learn something new too. So I have a brand new book to read to you today. Nobody has ever read this before, um, with me anyway. So this is called The Sun is Kind of a Big Deal. And look at him. He's walking on a red carpet. Who do you think these guys are here? I think they might be the other planets. I think this one might be Mars. That one might be Jupiter. And this book has the same author and illustrator, Nick Sulik. Okay? This is a real facts and information book. It's a nonfiction book, but the pictures are made up. Okay? All right. The sun is kind of a big deal. There's the title page. Look at all. Hold on. Look at all of those planets. There's the sun. The sun is kind of a big deal. All of the planets and the sun live together in the solar system like a big family. The sun is our solar system's very own star. Seriously, the sun is an actual star. It's the only star in our solar system and it sits right in the center, holding everything together. Mercury, Venus, Earth, that's where we live, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. The sun is the biggest thing in our solar system. It's even bigger than Earth. Way bigger. Way, way bigger. Like over a million times bigger. He's saying, ow, it burns. This is why I keep my distance. Look at, he's holding that tiny little Earth. There are much bigger stars than the sun, but all of the other stars you see are really, really, really really far away. Really. The other stars are in totally different solar systems and have their own planets. Earth is the third planet away from the sun. Remember Earth? It's that little planet where you and everyone you know lives. Mercury, I'm the baby. Venus, I'm the hottest planet. Earth, I have cats. Mars, did someone lose a rover? Jupiter, I'm gassy. Saturn, hula hoop champion. Uranus, I spin sideways. Neptune, I'm cold out here. Pluto used to be a planet, but scientists decided it didn't quite fit the definition. Now it's called the dwarf planet. Sorry, Pluto. Pluto, I'm still here, guys. Remember Mrs. Fredericks read you that book? Poor Pluto. The planets move around the sun like a big racetrack in space. Each planet has its own special path that it follows. That's called its orbit. Some planets are faster than others, but each one stays in its own lane. It takes a whole year for Earth to go all the way around the sun. Happy New Year! Do you know how many times you have been around the sun? Hint, how old are you? So if you're five, you've been around the sun five times. If you're older, like Mrs. Fredericks and I, we've been around the sun many more times. If you're four, you've been around the sun four times. The sun never stops working. It does a ton of important jobs for Earth. In fact, we wouldn't be around without the sun. Are you sure you need all of this from me? Yes, every second of every day, please and thank you. Why is Earth so important? Two words, plants and animals. That's three words. Still waiting on that autograph. What's this line for? The sun gives us light so we can see. 
but it takes about eight minutes for light to get to us because the sun is so far away. It's worth the wait. Earth spins around in a full circle every day. Hi again, how was your night? That's why when it's nighttime for you, it's daytime on the other side of the world. Did you know that? So Earth turns. The sun doesn't move. The sun stays in the same spot. So if this is us, this is daytime, and the other side of the world, like China, it would be night. The sun is always there, even when you can't see it. Sometimes it looks dark outside during the day because the sun is behind the clouds, see him? But it's still there. Hey, move it, clouds. I was making shadow puppets. Once in a while, it gets dark in the daytime because the moon gets in the sun's way. That's called the solar eclipse, and it only lasts for a little while. Look what I can do. Yes, yes, we are very impressed. Now keep on moving. Keeping us warm is another really important part of the sun's job. The sun is hotter than you can imagine, way hotter than fire. Its temperature reaches millions of degrees on the center. Some places on Earth are warmer than others. The parts of Earth closest to the equator are the warmest. That's kind of the middle of the Earth. The parts of the Earth closest to the North and South Poles are the coldest. The sun is pretty great. It's always around, keeping the whole solar system together. It gives us light and keeps us warm. It helps bring us rain and grow plants to produce the oxygen we breathe. It's such a big part of our lives that we wouldn't be able to live without it. The sun works really hard to help us out. That's kind of a big deal. So the sun really is kind of a big deal. Oh, look, this makes one whole page. We love it when that happens, huh? See the red carpet? It says he's a VIP, a very important person. But he's not a person. That's silly. He's the sun. All right, thanks for listening to my book.